So on that, he asked almost immediately and upfront that if I was to be hired, would I be willing to quit my school? Minasan konnichiwa, okaizaku desu. Well, an interesting turn of events has occurred. So what does that mean? Well, as you know, I relocated to Fukuoka three months ago from Canada. I'm at the three month mark just about now. Today is actually Christmas Day 2023. Imagine that. So Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas uh, to you and all of yours, wherever you may be. Uh, to this point, yes, so I've been in Fukuoka for about three months now, and as you know, I am studying at Genki Jacks, which is a Japanese language school in Hakata. Currently, at this moment, I don't have classes. We're on Fuyasumi, which is the winter break. Uh, this is the time where we kind of wrapped up the first few months, the first semester, I guess you can say. Uh, and then we have a break uh, for three weeks. Um, started last week, um, one week in. Uh, I go back to school on January 9th uh, in the new year. That will technically be the second term or second semester will begin for us. So while the school is open during this time, uh, there are no classes scheduled for us. So how have I been filling my free time with uh, not having school or work or anything else? Well, I still have to do self-study. I practice every day. Uh, I use one of these books right here, which is uh, everyday kanji kind of book. It's the first initial book of kanji, uh, 500 base kanji, because when I go back after Christmas break, eh, because when I go back after Fuyasumi ends, we have a kanji test of the first 12 chapters, which give or take is about 120, 140 kanji, give or take, that we have to memorize and know. I don't exactly know what that test will look like. It might be multiple choice, it might be some writing. But the thing is, if you know kanji, obviously they're not even only difficult to read, but they have different meanings and different pronunciations between what a single character might mean. Anyway, more on that later. That's not what this video is about. What is this video about? So, as you can see, um, slight turn of events. I had a job interview uh, this morning. Yes, on Christmas Day I had a job interview. Christmas is not the exact same where you might be if you're in a Western country or otherwise. It's not a national holiday here. There's no real break time or holiday except for our school because we operate kind of uh, on a Western calendar, I guess, so they give us a break at this holiday period. However, in Japan, this is not. It's not a national holiday. There's no time off or, or anything like that. It's just a regular Monday. So I had an interview uh, this morning with a hotel. Uh, if you know, my background is mostly in uh, hotels and recruitment. Uh, I've worked on cruise ships as well. I have another channel, uh, which is called Dan Overboard, which uh, blogs and vlogs my time uh, working on cruise ships. You can check that channel out. So I moved to Japan and wanted to come here uh, for multiple reasons, but obviously the main reason is to live and work here. I want to stay here. And in order to do that, you need a visa, you can't just show up and work. <laughs> uh, currently, I'm on a student visa for one year. Uh, that does allow me to work part-time. I can have an erbaito, which is a part-time job. You can work up to 28 hours in a given week, and that includes uh, overtime and any other freelance type of stuff. And of course, there's only certain jobs that you're allowed to have. You can't be a political advisor, you can't be a police officer, you can't necessarily uh, work in a bar or a bartender, but that happens uh, all the time. You can't work in the entertainment industry, uh, especially adult entertainment. There's a few things that you can't do, uh, even as a foreigner, regardless of what visa you're on. So most people uh, in my position with student visas, they work in a konbini, like a convenience store. They work in an izakaya, which of, of course is a bar anyway. Or they work at a restaurant. Typical entry level type of jobs. Because school is the priority. You're meant to be in school full time. You can work part time, but even then, you need to confirm that with your school, uh, where your workplace is, how many hours you're working, your wage, everything like that. It needs to be confirmed with the school and they kind of need to agree to it. If they uh, decline, uh, they say that you're not allowed to work because it interferes with your school. Technically, they're kind of allowed to do that because they have overriding say on your visa. That's kind of yes and no uh, saying that. Um, it's not exactly true, but it's not exactly not true. Um, while they have issued uh, in tandem with the government your student visa, they can kind of have a say on well, then, let me put it this way. If your school becomes not the priority, <laughs> if you put your work or other relationships ahead of school, which is the main reason why I am here, um, they can contact immigration. 
and, and give them the full details. So let's say if you're missing classes or you're showing up late or you're not doing your homework, uh, you're not performing well, your test scores are low, uh, you're just kind of, you know, you're not really engaged, they can report that to immigration which will affect your visa standing. On the other side of that, if you're working and you keep work completely separate and you still study and show up to class and you're doing well in school, then, then no problem. Of course, not everyone can just come to Japan and live free for <laughs> without income for a whole year. Uh, you know, you still have food and rent and hobbies and entertainment and everything else you got to pay for. So it's nice to have a part-time job. Not everyone does it, but you know, some people need to. For me, like I said, my goal is to stay, live and work here a long time. So I need a work permit eventually. At some point that has to happen. The initial goal and plan was to come to uh, Japan on a student visa, study for one year, um, because given that I want to stay here, I figured, well, I may as well learn the language and get up to speed with that. At least have a solid base level uh, within the year that I can have so that I can work, interact, communicate, everything else. However, I had an interview this morning uh, with a hotel property here in Fukuoka and in my opinion it went fairly well. I initially was meant to meet with the guest services supervisor. My background is mostly in guest services. Um, in hotels I've been a duty manager, night manager, a guest services agent. Uh, same thing on the cruise ship. I've been a guest services supervisor and a night manager on board. So I'm familiar with that. I've traveled all around the world I've worked with lots of different people, different cultures, lots of different backgrounds and I really enjoy connecting and building rapport with guests and my team. So I was supposed to meet with a guest services supervisor given that today is Christmas and that hotel is quite busy uh, today. I actually met with the director of human resources instead which I think is a better situation to talk directly with uh, a hiring manager such as that. So we ran through my resume, my background, um, questions back and forth. Um, I think it went uh, fairly well because uh, at one point he said that he was really interested to talk more uh, and he wanted me to meet directly with the guest services supervisor who I was supposed to meet with initially. Uh, however, she was in a, a meeting when I arrived and she was in a meeting when we had our interview. So she was not necessarily uh, available to chat at the moment. So that, that was fine. Uh, we're going to schedule another time frame with her that I can meet with her individually. Actually, I already did meet with her. I, I walked myself to the hotel after and, and happened to bump into her and we had a conversation and she showed me around a little bit. So, side note on that. Anyway, uh, during the interview with the Director of Human Resources, of course the question came up of what type of visa am I on and how long I've been here and what are my plans, everything like that. I told them the truth. I told them exactly everything that I'm currently on a, a one-year student visa that I study full-time uh, with a school in Hakata. But my goal and long-term plan is to change my student visa into an actual working visa and a, and a permit so I can stay here and have full-time and, and gainful employment here and develop my career in Japan. So on that he asked almost immediately and upfront that if I was to be hired, would I be willing to quit my school? And that kind of caught me off guard. Um, it was a question I wasn't necessarily expecting in this interview, but I was expecting it perhaps in a second or third interview or at some point. But when I initially applied for this position, I applied for technically a part-time role. There are two roles that were available on their careers website that I applied for. Initially, one was specifically an entry-level part-time role because I felt that's really all I can offer at the moment. Of course, I'm used to managerial and more supervisory roles, but in my experience, those positions are not available part-time. They don't really make sense. It doesn't fit. So I figured uh, if I can at least get my foot in the door on a part-time basis, work anywhere from, you know, 20 to 28 hours uh, in a given week, can allow me to understand the culture of that property, the team, and then segue my way in over time of securing a work permit and a long-term role. However, uh, he was interested in hiring me immediately as a supervisor role, a full-time supervisor role. So with that, he asked if I was willing to quit my school. Uh, like I said, it kind of caught me off guard. I had to think about that. And I said, to be 100% honest with you, yes, uh, I would. Uh, and the reason for that is because I want to stay here. I want to work here. Of course, I'm committed to my school. I love my school. I love everybody there. It's a fantastic school. I highly recommend it. But would I be willing to give it up to secure permanent 
work here in Japan? Yeah, uh, I, I would, and I am. That's, that's my goal, that's what I want. Um, although I have committed to the school, I've paid, uh, I'm enrolled, I'm engaged, I'm doing everything I meant to do with the school. However, the question is, do I want to wait the other six, seven, eight months, however long it takes to, for school to wrap up before I really have um, a secure role somewhere? Because initially what I was going to do is um, complete the year program and then work immediately after that and or at least uh, start putting um, pokers in the fire about um, you know networking and hopefully have some interviews lined up so that when school ends I, I'd roll right into a job and or at least have something before part-time that I can change into a full-time role. However right off the bat today they pretty much asked if I'd be willing to quit school uh, and start full-time uh, immediately with them. So I, I said yes uh, I would be willing to do that uh, however I still want to learn Japanese uh, if there are part-time courses uh, that I could take outside of work uh, that would be up to me. I said, yeah, I, I, I can work full time with you, but I still want to learn the language. So I still want to do part time courses and classes outside of that. And he said, well, actually, we're going to be offering complimentary uh, and free courses and classes in the new year, starting in January for all of our staff, uh, because this specific property um, has uh, a lot of foreigners uh, working there and not not Japanese speakers. So they're looking at offering courses uh, so that you can learn Japanese while working and even outside of work and everything like that. So perfect, That's, uh, that, that works for me. Have a full-time job and then still be able to learn Japanese. Absolutely, that, that is terrific. So w when I gave him the answer that yes, I'd be willing to do that, but I'm still interested in learning Japanese, he kind of sensed my timidness a little, a little bit because although I really want to secure a work permit, I actually, I would feel kind of bad uh, that I would quit my school because I've invested so much time and effort into it and the staff likewise have put a lot of effort uh, into me and all the other students of getting us enrolled and getting us engaged and up, and up to speed. And I love the teachers and I love the staff there so it, it would be a shame to not uh, be able to see them on a regular basis. But because of that he also offered that I could still start in a part-time role uh, in one way or another. He didn't exactly say what position that may be but they would look at opportunities to at least bring me on board start in a part-time capacity and then over time develop into a full-time either when school ends or when I decide that uh, I'm willing to just leave school altogether and take on a full-time role either way in that case on a part-time basis they wouldn't do any visa support I would still have my student visa so that I can work part-time and then when school ends hopefully change over to a full-time role as well however I think he was just kind of saying that to be nice and because he sensed my timidness a little bit uh, but I think they and would very much prefer that I take a full-time committed role to them. That only makes sense, of course. It is a new property here in Fukuoka, and they are quite uh, busy, even for a new property. However, they are short-staffed, or they have low manning uh, at the moment, and since opening. Uh, they didn't expect to be as busy uh, and as consistent as they, as they have been, so they need staff, and they're looking for people to commit and retain those people, and hopefully set them on a right path to stay here and I'm open to that. So I did ask him uh, when uh, the position start date might be planned and he didn't give me a specific date but he kind of said the sooner the better. So I'm thinking uh, pretty much by the new year they're going to want to bring me in. However, I need to make a decision. So uh, now I'm going to contact my school, have a conversation with them about what the possibilities are, what my options are in terms of um, unfortunately uh, ending my time uh, with Genki Jacks, what happens to my visa, what happens to uh, everything else along the way, getting refunded, what happens to my apartment. My apartment was linked via my school, they, they have given, they've set this up for me. I don't know if I, if I end school, if I have to leave here. So I have a few questions uh, that need to be answered, so it's only fair that uh, I research those and uh, then report back uh, to um, my HR manager or potential HR manager. Uh, we will see. But um, so Christmas comes uh, but once a year I guess and today is Christmas so that's a nice Christmas present uh, to have and to hold on to. Uh, but it is uh, it is just an interview. Uh, it's just conversation uh, and conjecture at the moment. 
uh, nothing becomes real until a contract is signed and I start the first day, which um, I'll keep you updated on that. But at least I wanted to say that it was a very interesting uh, moment uh, to put so much time and effort into coming to Japan uh, to study and learn Japanese. And then three months in, uh, have an opportunity to come up that I leave school and I can work full time, secure a work permit, and then still study and learn Japanese、uh, otherwise. So, what do you think? Has this ever happened to you? And I want to know what's your experience been、uh, coming to Japan?、Uh, have you been able to、uh, secure work here? Did you have work lined up before you came? Did you just happen to apply for jobs and something came up? Or did you have a, a solid plan and goal or a company you wanted to work with? Let me know because a few of my fellow students are, are interested in hearing、uh, as well. Some of them have their own plans. Some Some of them just don't know. They don't know where to start. They don't know where to begin. They don't know what to do. So, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. Arigatou gozaimasu. And that's why I'm in a suit.